were so spoiled because mom um, used to make a big pot of homemade soup from scratch at least two to three times a week. And there are so many different soups you can make. You really don't need a recipe to make soup. Julie, can I add two glasses of red wine to the soup? Or should I just keep it one for the soup and one for me while it cooks? Brr, it's cold in here. Okay, not really. I'm from Southern California and it rarely gets cold here. But that doesn't mean I don't like a big bowl of warm, delicious soup now and again. And today I'm talking about my favorite, which is tortilla soup. It's really, really easy. Like all soups, it's better the next day. And you can't really mess it up. You just take your tomatoes, garlic, and your peppers, and onions. Cook them until they're charred and you're gonna puree them. Strain that and then that mixture gets added to your stock pot with a little bit of oil. Now here's the easy part of the soup. You just take chicken stock and you just let that simmer for about 15 minutes and that is the base of the soup. Hello from Canada! Where it actually is really freezing cold and we really do need a big pot of warm soup. One of my husband's very, very favorite soups is tortilla soups and out of all places, his favorite place to have tortilla soup is California Pizza Kitchen. And the nearest California Pizza Kitchen is about an hour away from our house. And that is a long ways to drive for a tortilla soup. Hey Matt, I love your suggestion to roast the, the vegetables before putting them in the soup. That creates so much more flavor than just throwing them straight in the soup pot. The one thing that I love about this soup is that you take corn tortillas, and those are fried in oil, and don't over fry them and cut into strips that's put on top of the tortilla soup. If you come over to my house, you'll notice that I kind of fry a little bit too many um, corn tortillas. Matt, did I just hear an invitation to come to your house for dinner? If so, I'm so there. My soup recipe that I'm gonna talk about today is a black bean and a sweet potato and sausage soup. I made it for my dad at, at the cabin about a month ago and he said, that is the best pot of soup I've ever had in my life. So I took that as a compliment because he's had a, a fairly long life and probably eaten quite a bit of soup. Once your sausage is, is getting a little bit brown, you can add uh, a chopped sweet potato, a can of black beans, drain them first, rinse them if you want to get rid of some of that sludge, about a liter of stock or water or, you know, any kind of liquid. A wine glass full of red wine would work. Now Julie, can I add two glasses of red wine to the soup? Or should I just keep it one for the soup and one for me while it cooks? I don't know how many families these days actually have a lot of time to um, tend to a simmering pot of soup in the kitchen, but there's a soup that I always love to make and fortunately my kids love it too and it's my 10 minute miso soup. The 10 minute miso soup uses two main ingredients. One of them is miso paste. The other important ingredient is actually instant dashi and this is the box. It is a massive box but that's because I use this a lot and you don't have to buy a box this big. In fact there's little jars that it comes in that um, you can purchase and if you think it's kind of like chicken bouillon Kind of, yeah, but I guarantee you this is going to taste so much better. But this is the base of miso soup. Wow, those ingredients are so foreign to me, but you, you always make all those things seem so much less scary than they actually are. And it's just incredibly easy. You're going to take a pot, you're going to add the water, and you're going to add the instant dashi to it. Once that comes to a boil, you can add the ingredients that you want to put into your miso soup. Once that is cooked through, turn off the heat, and you're going to whisk in the miso paste. And really, that's it. Jake, and I keep miso paste on hand for recipes uh, like dressings and fish. And can you believe I've never actually made a soup with it? The miso paste lasting in the refrigerator for about six months, and then the dashi, um, instant dashi that lasts in your pantry for, for like ever. I always have those two items, and with that, with that as a base, I can always find something in my refrigerator to add to it to make a hearty miso soup for the family. I'll show you how to make these recipes and more at goodbite.com.